Hi, and welcome back to PCMD TV. Thank you to all of my new visitors, as well as all of my subscribers. And I hope to continue to bring you information that will benefit you in some way. Remember, stay tuned for the release of my new project I'm working on. It's going to help you save time and money and inconvenience, and it's going to come out in the very near future. Today, I want to talk a little bit about bootleg windows and Microsoft installations. Now, this may seem basic for some of you that are familiar with uh, computers and Microsoft Windows, uh, but some of you may not have any clue. There are so-called repair techs out there, and they're uncertified. Well, I mean, at least I hope no certified techs are out there doing this. But they are doing cleanings and repairs to your computers, and when the need comes to do a reinstall of the operating system, they are actually using cracked versions. And a cracked version is where they're is a key generator or some sort of patch required and sometimes it has been um, opened and slipstreamed with some sort of uh, validator or file that will skip or block the validator and um, these are required to actually validate or genuine a copy of Windows on installation they also do this for installations of Microsoft Office. Hopefully, you haven't actually paid one of these characters for an upgrade to Windows or a cheap install of Office, and they actually gave you one of these crack versions. Volume licensing is available and quite costly for someone who does this work on the side. Um, in addition to that, Certified techs can lose their certification for installing crack versions of Microsoft products, and especially charging to do this. That's why it's very important to make sure your tech is actually a certified repair technician. Either A plus or Microsoft certified. These are both national certifications. So if, if you think that you may have a bootleg version I'm going to show you a tool that you can actually check and um, and with this tool you won't disable your operating system if you actually aren't genuine. It's called the Microsoft Validation Tool. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the address bar and type in A plus Computer Solutions LLC Dot com and we're gonna take a trip over to my website and click on the blog and scroll down to pros and cons section and click on Windows validation computer repair and free antivirus and you're gonna scroll down about halfway down to where the image is and click on the download tool here link Go ahead and save that, and you can run it right from that box. Hit continue on the tool. Let it run a little bit. It's going to check out your system. And if you look on the top where it says validation code, and you see zero there, that means it's valid. You see there under that the product key and it tells you the product name what you have installed I have Windows 7 professional then you can check on the office tab and you'll see that the validation status right there as genuine so you can X all that out and when you're genuine now you can go down to receive free Microsoft antivirus Microsoft Security's Essentials. You can download 32-bit. I actually have 64-bit Windows installed. So I'll install the 64-bit. And let that download. You can go ahead and run it. And this is a very 
effective free antivirus straight from Microsoft. Um, I use that and Avast on my clients' computers. Um, I usually uninstall the paid versions that they have there. And you'll see here, I actually have Avast already installed in my system. And it says, we recommend that you remove other antivirus and anti-spy programs before continuing with this wizard. I'm going to give you a very good tip here that if you notice that your computer is running slow, okay, and lagging big time, and, and you know that you have two antivirus installed, I don't, it doesn't matter which ones they are, um, try uninstalling one and I, and I'm going to tell you you probably have uh, you probably have virus spyware malware or, or even worse than any of that installed on your computer now because what happens when you have two antivirus installed at the same time is they conflict with each other ports get opened and and uh, scanners get passed through uh, it's a very bad situation to have more than one antivirus installed on your computer. So uninstall one, only have one on your computer at any time. I suggest the free ones. Do not pay for antivirus anymore. They don't do anything better for you than the free ones. That's free tips there for my uh, subscribers and my friends save your money okay now over here on under pros and cons you'll see that um, validating is going to help you or making sure that you have a valid copy on your machine is going to help you with future repair efforts uh, it's going to help the computer repair technician um, be able to do reinstalls or repair installs um, it's going to prevent a lot of confusion it's going to prevent you from losing your data it will qualify you for free antivirus you'll be able to receive regular updates and with some cracked versions you're able to do that as well so don't think just because you're getting regular updates that you don't have a cracked version of Windows uh, even office will allow you to do updates on some cracked versions uh, it'll keep your system running smoothly if you have a valid genuine installation you can be sure there's no spyware integrated or slipstreamed into the version uh, a lot of times hackers will open the files on the installation disk they can slipstream service packs in there all kinds of custom modifications including malware and things that will open uh, the doors to intruders and, and deliver your information in their mailbox on their front door. If you have had uh, or if you find out that you have a bootleg installation make sure that you contact the last person that worked on your computer get your money back and uh, take care of the issue before it becomes a bigger problem than it already may be well again I appreciate you stopping by I hope I've added value to your day hopefully you've learned something here and and potentially learn how to avoid uh, a situation in the future these are questions to ask your computer repair tech I always advocate certified computer repair techs. Uh, people pay good money to go to school to receive education to learn about these things. Um, not everybody can afford to do that. Not everybody has done it. Uh, just because somebody can fix your computer and get it back in working condition doesn't mean that they're certified. Certified techs will have proof. It doesn't hurt to ask. They shouldn't be offended about, about it. Matter of fact, they paid good money to have that. I'm sure they'll be glad to show you. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned and uh, have a great day.